What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough, and yes, it's me, it's me, it's GLD. Oh yeah, so, it took us a while, it really took us a, a long time to get this, but finally guys, we are leveled up, as you can see, our Pokemon are within a level, you know, a good range of levels, and uh, we're ready to take on the Elite Four, the only problem we had was with, well, the tank. Let's take a look at this guy. Level 53. Yeah, he, he takes a long time. So I think he can handle himself by just the level he's at. Everybody else is at a good level to where they can, you know, take a few hits here and there. Um, honestly, this took me like about, what? I want to say a grand total of like eight hours probably just to get everybody leveled up to a good level. I mean, I, I wanted to get everybody at level 60, but, you know. Uh, yeah. It, it was it was tough. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. I had to go straight to Victory Road to train all my Pokemon. I had to go outside of Victory Road to train Pikachu because he was weak to most of the Pokemon in Victory Road. And uh, yeah, it, it just it I just had to go everywhere to battle everybody. So it's finally time. I already got all the items that I need to do uh, to to use to go to the Elite Four right here. Now talk to this guy. The only guy that's ever believed in you will say this. Yo, champ in the making. At the Pokemon League, you have to face the Elite Four in succession. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it. Go for it. The only man that's ever believed in us is saying, let's go for it. So here it is, guys. Finally. And uh, from, here, from here on, you face the Elite Four. One by one, if you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. Alrighty. Okay. This is what we've been waiting for, guys, the Elite Four Challenge, something that we've been working for for the last two months. So here it is, guys. And uh, if we try to escape, someone's voice, don't run away. I'm like, I want to run away. I wonder if we can surf right here. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can. Look at that. <laughs> we can surf. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, enough screwing around. So here's the first first member of the Elite Four, Lorelai. Mm-hmm. Sexy as hell. Mm-hmm. She has Ice-type Pokemon. Mm-hmm. But nothing's cold as her than her Ice-type Pokemon, but she's still sexy. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Lorelai. Mm. Let me just admire you for just a little bit. Mm. Anywho, let's go. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelai of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to the ice to the icy Pokemon. Freezing powers or freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. <laughs> you ready? Probably. I don't know. I'm just admiring you from, you know, a standpoint because god damn you're fine. You are fine, Lorelai. Ugh, too bad I'm ten years old. If I was like a, a few years older, I mean I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. But, it is what it is. We have to take on the Elite Four right here. Let's go! Just a regular battle right now. Okay. So, here we have Lorelei. And, uh, she's coming out with her Pokemon, Dugong. And, uh, oh, let's see. So, going on to our next screen right here, Lorelei. The sexy Lorelei is a Ice-type trainer. Now, let me go up to Bulbapedia. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. So, Lorelei. Okay. Did we get it? Okay. Mmm, she, she, looks, she looks sexy. I swear to God. Very, very sexy. Okay, so if you're playing Pokemon Red, Blue, or Green, she does have a level 54 Dugong, level 53 Oyster, level, fi level 54 Slowbro, level 56 Jinx, and a Lapras at level 56. All of them are Ice type Pokemon. Be careful, they they are they are well trained, they are strong. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Yellow, their Pokemon are just a little bit different. Dugong's at level 54, Oyster's at 53, Slowbro is at level 54, Jinx is at level 56, Lapras is at level 56. Most of the moves have been changed. So, good luck to that. Now, let's go straight back to the battle right here. I'm gonna go with Thunder. Sparky with Thunder. Oh, yeah. That felt good, but... Oh, God. And, yes, do, do, be aware of that Aurora Beam, because that Aurora Beam is nasty. Alright. Here we 
go, Thunderbolt. So good. So freaking good. In order to beat Lorelei, you also have to have a uh, fighting type Pokemon because those those Pokemon are effective against uh, ice type Pokemon as well. Just don't use it against Jinx because it, it, it is also a, a uh, psychic type Pokemon. And here we have another Thunderbolt. That doesn't... Oh wow, okay, so she wasted a turn by healing her Pokemon. This gives me the opening I need. And uh, that is goodbye to Cloyster right there. Right, okay, and she's about to come out with a Slowbro that is a super defensive Pokemon right there. So I gotta go straight to Thunder. Hopefully this takes him out quickly. Come on. Oh, nearly beats him, and of course Lorelai doesn't take a shot at me. She loves me. She digs me. She wants me. And there goes that Slowbro. Oh, yeah. And, uh, who's she coming out with? Jinx. Okay, so I got the Pokemon just for you. Uh, no, no. Yes, Godzilla, Godzilla. Oh, yeah, don't forget that Fire-type Pokemon. Fire-type Pokemon will work against Ice-type Pokemon as well. So we go Godzilla, 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 Flamethrower. Oh, yeah. And that takes a lot. That just beats it. So there we go, another one. And she's coming out with Lapras. Lapras is a tough Pokemon. So I'm going back to Sparky. May have to sacrifice him just, just for this one battle right here. It's beefy. And, oh god, it is just strong. And there we go. That Hydro Pump leaves us another opening. Let's finish him off with another Thunder Attack. And there goes Lapras. And that is how you beat the Elite Four member. Right there, Lorelei defeated. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. How dare you! She wants me. She wants me. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of Pokemon League power. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, enough me admiring her. Mm. You want me, right? You do. Okay, so moving on forward, we got our next challenger, and that is Bruno. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be taking on this guy right here. The, uh, I would like to name him uh, Brock's Daddy. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode.